What's up guys? Today I'm going to unbox one of Logitech's new line of headsets called the G733. I heard a lot of great things about this headset and my old one broke, so it was about time to jump in and finally grab a new one. And I'm a huge fan of this design. I, I love the white on purple contrast along with the LED lights. I'm a big fan of LED lights if you haven't noticed. It's a really great way to stylize your desk and now a great way to stylize my head. But anyways, I'm really looking forward to opening this up and jumping in to see what it's capable of. So let's get this bad boy open, shall we? So, so far, really liking the packaging. They did a good job. Um, what a lot of people know about Logitech is that their designs never really look good. Like I, over the years, I've owned a few Logitech speakers and um, like headsets, mice and stuff, but they were always like, the subpar version of what everybody else was providing. But it seems to have changed with the, I can't get this thing open, oh my God. It seems to have changed with this new line of headsets because it seems like it's going, like they're going for a style first, function after method, which I'll get into a little later. But I finally got this open. Let's see what we have here. Ah, making a mess. Making a mess. So first we have a USB-C cable, which I'm really happy about because I'm so tired of people offering me a micro USB cable. Like that's still a thing. Like we're still in 2005. I'm tired of it. Enough with micro USBs. USB-C people, please. Thank you, Logitech. I really enjoy this. Um, really big fan of USB-C. The next thing is this mic. I thought this was a stylus effort. So the mic is inserted via an auxiliary port and I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. My old mic was able to flip up to mute itself and flip down when you wanted to speak. This one, I know there's a mute button on the device, but I really wish that it included the same flip up, flip down function. But other than that, this mic is supposed to produce some awesome clarity. Um, when you're talking through it, it's supposed to prevent all sorts of distortion and outside noises are supposed to be filtered out completely. So when you're talking to people on your games, on your Zoom calls or other types of work calls, this is supposed to produce excellent sound that you will have no worries about when you're communicating with uh, your friends online. And the next thing is this. USB dongle. So the G733 is a wireless headset that utilizes this USB dongle to connect to your devices wirelessly. Um, it should be able to connect to your PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, but only when it's docked. Um, MacBooks or any other device that accepts like a USB a wireless input for audio uh, capabilities. So it's really nice to have all that functionality. I even believe it's future proof for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. So if you're thinking about a mic for those, this should be a valuable option. And now let's get to the main course. So this mic is super sleek. I really like it. The sides here are matte finish with a more smooth finish that are on the edges. I really like that G that's right there. It's super shiny. It's really high quality. You could tell that they put a lot of effort into this. Um, the ear section here is built to memory foam. So when you put it on, it's supposed to provide some, oh, I really like this. It feels kind of like almost nothing's there. I like this a lot. They, they did a really good job designing this. I have this on backwards, reverse, however wrong is. But um, other than that, the um, headband here is supposed to provide some excellent form fitting uh, capabilities so that you don't have to like tug and pull at the headset to adjust it to your head shape. You just put it on and this headband does the trick. It keeps it secure and in place and everything is, everything works perfectly. I like it a lot. But the aesthetics are just the first part of this. Let's jump into what it actually sounds like. And I say that knowing you won't be able to hear the full capabilities of it, but I'm going to describe it as much as possible for you. Don't worry. Now let's get these connected. Logitech did a really great job with this headset. The uh, bass hits really well. Um, 
the uh, highs and lows come through with a lot of clarity. When you turn it up towards max volume, it does not have that distorted sound that you get from a lot of other headsets when you turn them up all the way. Um, but I could tell they probably sort of um, down to the uh, audio performance in order to stop that from happening because when you jump into um, their software, so there's the uh, Logitech G Hub that allows you to control and really customize all of the um, audio features that are on this headset. You can really change and like, you can make the bass hit harder, you can make the highs go a little bit higher, but it still maintains a lot of control that allows you to um, keep that awesome optimized audio fidelity. And there's a lot of ways to customize the headset. So if you look here, you can see the change in lighting based on the audio, and you can really customize how it changes. So you can make it change according to when the bass hits, or when the highs hit like a really high pitch or when the lows hit a really low pitch you can make it so that each color that you want comes out when it's hitting those notes but also you can have it on like a post channel where you can set the colors to your liking you can just have it be fixed or you can turn the lights completely off if that's not what you like but overall this headset is awesome um would i suggest it i would if you don't mind having a only usb wireless headset you won't be able to connect this to a device via an auxiliary Cords. So if you want to be able to do that, that's going to be a big negative for you because these do not have that feature. Let me turn this down. Um, overall, the sound quality is great though, and if you're in the market for a wireless headset, this is an awesome device. I know that their higher end headset, the G935, is on sale for the same price as these. I got these because I wanted the uh, white aesthetics and the uh, purple band that they have here, but there are other options that Logitech has. The step above this is on sale for the same price, and you'll have like more intense bass but you won't have this design so it really depends on what your preferences are one thing i want to show is i didn't think that it had the movable ear pieces but it does it's just very subtle and it's built right into the device um, you can also if you look here you can also take this out and adjust this band so that if your head is smaller you can make it smaller so that it fits your head more perfectly but overall, I think this is an awesome device. I'm gonna keep it. I'm going to test it out on a bunch of other devices that I have. But so far on the PC, it allows you to customize so many things that make it just an awesome headset. On the PlayStation so far, everything sounds good when you send all the audio through that. And um, right now, I'm loving it a lot. I'm gonna put it through more of its paces and see how I like it over the coming weeks. And hopefully it stands the test of time, but this is a really cool device. But that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe before you go, and I will see you beautiful people next time. Peace.